in Canada we have this almost 100% intermarriage rate amongst the Japanese Canadians. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that after World War II, a lot of Japanese Canadians weren't allowed back to Vancouver. So they were sort of dispersed across Canada to find other homes, you know, because most of them were starting over. They had no money, like, because their homes were sold to pay for their internment. So when they got out, they had no money. And what ends up happening is that they just sort of moved all over Canada in really sort of like small pockets of Japanese. And, and with that being said, there's a lot of racism towards the Japanese. So the idea that it was almost a forced assimilation, right? And, and the easiest way for them to sort of like get rid of the Japanese appearance is just to let off their kids and say, hey, marry whoever you want, right? And most of the kids are going to school with like Caucasian kids. So it just made sense that they were going to intermarry. And uh, so that's why I want with the film, when people see the film, to realize that yeah, we're, we're a family that's intermarried, we're blended, we're mixed, and we're happy, right? Even though, you know, there were some terrible times with the war, the internment, um, you know, the discrimination and racism towards Japanese Canadians, that out of something negative, we found something positive, right? And we're a big Hapa family, we're a big happy family. A lot of people want to throw this whole idea that all the mixed kids are culturally confused, or like yeah. they're all mixed up, right? And that's not the case, you know, sure I've struggled with identity a little bit, or I've had a little bit of racism, um, but I think at some point everyone feels a little bit discriminated against, everyone at some point feels like they're questioning your identity, and that's that's the thing is that like, it, it's just human nature to constantly yeah. question who we are, that's part of living, right? And that's what I try to tell like the youth is like, you know, you constantly have to talk about this stuff with people because if you keep it bottled up inside, it it can be harmful and this is why for me I explore it so much in my film work because it's like self therapy for me almost right to be able to like just as an outlet for for that and, and to help others kind of reflect and see like oh I'm not the only one who's thought about this so this idea that this notion that okay I'm breaking myself down people look at me and they automatically see the Japanese and they want to start stereotyping me I'm like oh, well, that's why you're short that's why maybe you're good at you know, school, you're, you're smart, and, or just sort of other weird things, right? Or they start to sort of like judge you just upon hearing half Japanese. And, and the idea of this sort of dilution, right? Or weakening. And, and when you're half something, you know, immediately you're cutting yourself up, right? I didn't particularly learn German because I am German, or a piece of me is German. Like my grandmother is, is of German, she can speak German. Um, but at the same time, it's like, I, I don't know, maybe I did feel a connection to more being more German. So maybe I am more than one-eighth German, right, inside, I don't know. You look at the idea that this is that moment in history in my family where the dynamic of my Japanese-Canadian family is now shifted. After centuries and centuries of being a Japanese family, now we are a very blended family. You, it's, you think you can't go back from that because there's always that moment where, yep, everyone married Caucasians, right? So they'll always have that bit of that lineage, right? And, and that's a special moment in time because I don't see us going backwards, right? And that's a, kind of a bad thing to say too, going backwards in what sense? Well, going backwards and marrying Japanese, I don't know, like, but it, it could happen. You know, I don't discriminate, you know, when I date, you know, and so, and I'm pretty sure my family's the same way.